Water conservation experts say Las Vegas has been cutting water usage the past two decades by targeting grass. They've been replacing it with rocks, desert plants, and artificial turf like this, saving billions of gallons of water. Looking at Lake Mead, it's really evident just how much the lake has declined over the past 20 years with the white bathtub ring that you can see along the shoreline. Southern Nevada Water Authority's Bronson Max says 40 million people depend on water from the Colorado River. If we don't all adapt and reduce our water demands collectively, uh, we're going to end up in a situation where demand is going to exceed supply. What I wanted to show you was... Hydrologist David Creamer at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, says Lake Mead, which is fed by the Colorado River, is only about 100 feet above what is called Deadpool. What happens is if the lake goes down to a Deadpool level, 950 feet above sea level, no more water can go through Hoover Dam and go downstream to California to the, to the crops and the fields that are, that are located there. And that would be a pretty tremendous impact, not only for the Southwest, but for the entire United States. The quickest solution, he says, is water conservation by incentivizing water savings. This used to be all grass all throughout here. Neighborhoods all over Southern Nevada have been ripping up grass for cash. Replacing it with rocks, artificial turf, and desert plants. Nevada passed a law about a year and a half ago that requires all commercial, and that would include homeowners associations to remove all grass that is what they call non-functional. So if you can't play on it, it has to come out. Southern Nevada Water Authority says it pays property owners $3 a square foot to replace that grass with water efficient landscaping. We have removed more than 200 million square feet of grass and collectively saved more than 170 billion gallons of water simply by taking out grass that nobody is using. It's part of a series of incentive programs Bronson says the Las Vegas area implemented in the early 2000s out of necessity. Providing those financial incentives definitely has been a, a key to our conservation success. Now, the rest of the Southwest is looking to Southern Nevada as a national model in conservation efforts. 30 cities throughout the Colorado River Basin and nearly every state of the Colorado River Basin signed on to a conservation memorandum of understanding, all agreeing to implement best practices when it comes to water conservation. Bronson says water conservation isn't a one size fits all, but collaboration between communities will help as we navigate the future of limited water supply. Elizabeth Ruiz, Scripps News, Las Vegas.